Ever heard of methocarbamol? Know what happens when someone overdoses on it? Well, let's set the stage for understanding this powerful muscle relaxant. Methocarbamol, often sold under the brand name Robaxin, is commonly used to treat muscle spasms and pain. However, like all medication, it doesn't come without risks. An overdose can lead to serious, potentially life-threatening symptoms. Picture this. You're dealing with a patient who has ingested about 63 tablets of methocarbamol, each with a dosage of 750 milligrams. That's a whopping total of over 47 grams, far exceeding the recommended daily dosage. The consequences? They can range from central nervous system depression to respiratory compromise. Understanding these risks is crucial to managing and treating an overdose effectively. Now that we've established what methocarbamol is, let's dive into a real-life case of an overdose. Imagine this. A 41-year-old woman, unresponsive, with excessive secretions in her mouth. It's early in the morning, and her boyfriend has found her. Just a couple of hours before, she was seen behaving normally. Now, she's in a hospital, surrounded by medical professionals scrambling to figure out what's wrong. Her vital signs, recorded at 7 in the morning, are seemingly within a normal range. Her blood pressure is 114 over 83. Her heart rate sits at 65 beats per minute. Her temperature is a slightly cool 95.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Her respiratory rate is 16 breaths per minute. And her oxygen saturation is 95% on room air, but this is before she's intubated. Her electrocardiogram, taken 17 minutes past 7, shows a heart rate of 69 beats per minute, a QRS duration of 86 milliseconds, a QTC of 443 milliseconds, and a rhythm that's sinus. All fairly normal readings. But her physical condition tells a different story. She's unresponsive. She's vomiting, and her pupils are constricted and sluggish. Her mucous membranes are moist, and she has raunchy with secretion in her chest, indicating potential respiratory complications. In this chaotic scene, a significant clue emerges. A bottle of methocarbamol tablets recently filled with 84 tablets, now only has six left. This is a muscle relaxant, and she's ingested a potentially lethal amount. We're talking about around 63 tablets, each one containing 750 milligrams of methocarbamol. That's a total of over 47 grams, far beyond the guidelines threshold for a trip to the emergency room. With these details, a potential methocarbamol overdose is suspected, but what does that mean? The woman remains unresponsive and her symptoms begin to align with a methocarbamol overdose. Now, as the medical team continues to assess the situation, they note several key symptoms that align with the suspected methocarbamol overdose. The woman exhibits meiosis, a condition where the pupils become abnormally small. She's also vomiting and has excessive secretions, both signs consistent with this type of overdose. Interestingly, she shows no anticholinergic symptoms. Continuing their assessment, the medical team calculates that she has ingested an estimated 63 tablets of methocarbamol. Each tablet contains 750 milligrams, meaning she's taken in a staggering 47.25 grams. This is significantly above the guidelines threshold for emergency room triage, which sits at 3,000 milligrams for individuals weighing 50 kilograms or more. The woman's symptoms, along with the calculated dosage, suggest a moderate to severe case of methocarbamol toxicity. The clinical signs include central nervous system depression and respiratory compromise, which has led to the need for intubation to protect her airway. But what about her vital signs? Well, they remain within normal limits. There are no signs of bradycardia, tachycardia, bradypnea, tachypnea, hypotension, hypertension, or fever. Even her electrocardiogram, taken, shows a normal QRS duration with a slightly prolonged QTC, but no significant arrhythmias. These findings, coupled with her symptoms and the missing bottle of methocarbamol, paint a concerning picture. The medical team is now dealing with a patient who has potentially overdosed on a significant amount of methocarbamol, leading to life-threatening symptoms. In the face of this medical crisis, the team must act quickly to stabilize the woman and begin the process of treating her overdose. With these symptoms and findings, the medical team confirms the suspicion of a methocarbamol overdose. But how do they treat it? The medical team springs into action, implementing a comprehensive treatment plan. The cornerstone of this plan is supportive care, maintaining mechanical ventilation to protect the airway and ensure adequate oxygenation. The team monitors the patient's vital signs closely, ready to adjust supportive measures. But of course, they're not flying blind. A urine drug screen and a comprehensive toxicology workup are set into motion, 
aiming to confirm the methocarbamol overdose and rule out any other potential toxicities. A comprehensive metabolic panel and lactate levels are also checked, providing a broader view of the patient's physiological state. Meanwhile, the team considers decontamination. And what about seizure? The team is prepared to administer benzodiazepines. If seizures persist, they may consider stronger agents like propofol or phenobarbital. Given the severity of the patient's condition, admission to the intensive care unit is a must for close monitoring. This aligns with guidelines recommending ICU care for patients with moderate to severe toxicity. Looking ahead, the team outlines the discharge criteria. The patient can leave the hospital once she's alert, can move safely, and shows a clear improvement in symptoms. But the care doesn't stop there. Follow-up care is arranged to monitor for any long-term effects of the overdose and to address any underlying issues that may have contributed to the overdose. And that, my friends, is a wrap on our deep dive into methocarbamol and the implications of its overdose. Remember, every medication has its risks. Always use as directed and seek immediate medical attention if you suspect an overdose. Thanks for watching Medical Toxicology. Take care.